And welcome back to Steelers Nation Radio. I'm Dale Lally uh, here with, uh, pleased to be joined by, I should say, uh, Terrell Edmonds, a Steelers first-round draft pick. And Terrell is a tired young man, uh, but an excited young man. Is your uh, is this your? Uh, I'm, I'm assuming you played, uh, having played at Virginia Tech, you've been to Pittsburgh before. Yes, sir. Um, I played at Heinz Field my sophomore year when James Conner was there. Now he's about to be my teammate. That's going to be crazy. Um, we actually won that game. It was a dog fight the whole game, but we actually came out winning. Now, at least you won't have to tackle him. Although they do tackle. I don't know if, if, if Coach Tomlin talked to you about this. They do some hitting in, in uh, training camp, but not, not a lot of NFL teams do that. Yeah, he told me. He told me that we hit uh, a few days out the week. So I'm just I'm ready for it. Um, I'm ready to go out there and compete with my brothers. Now, have you had to bone up on this team? Did you, did you um, throughout the process, did you start studying some of the teams that you thought you might have a possibility to go to? Honestly, I did not know where I was going to go. So I did not go up. I didn't have a bone up on anybody. I was just in there for the process. And wherever I went, I knew I was going to try to go in there and be that impact player that they needed. Now, uh, as we talked to you earlier, uh, you and your brother, Tremaine, the first brothers to ever be drafted in the first round of the, dra of the same draft. Uh, that's going to be pretty exciting. Yeah, that's a blessing for my family. It's a blessing for my school. And it's a blessing for my hometown. I mean, it was amazing. Uh, last night, the excitement from my family, my mom and my dad, it was over the roof. So I, I honestly can't thank um, Coach Tomlin enough for um, just giving me the opportunity. Now, you're joining a team that also has a guy who has two other brothers in the league, and T.J. Watt. He was their first-round pick last year, and he and his brother J.J., of course, were, all, were both first-round picks. So which family has the, has the leg up on that? Honestly, <laughs> I, I, I do not know because um, – of course, you know that they already have their name in the league, so we're coming in now just trying to trying to do our thing now. But, you know, um, all love here, so we're just going to go out here and uh, just play Edmonds football too. Now, there was uh, – I watched some tape on you and stuff last year. I watched some of the Virginia Tech games. And I, I remember at one point uh, your coach saying that you were the best player on that defense. Um, it, you guys had a really good defense. I mean, and there yes, were a lot sir. of players on the defense, but he singled you out as that guy. Um, did you feel like you were the leader of that defense? I would definitely say I was one of the leaders. I wouldn't say I was the, the alpha dog or the best player because we had a lot of good guys, as you can see. Um, we had my brother. We had a couple of more guys that, that really played a big part into the defense. But um, I was definitely a leader. I was a leader in the back end. I made all the calls in the back end. I had to get everybody in positions, uh, uh, do all the checks and everything. But... Overall, uh, I'm just glad Coach made that statement for me just because uh, it showed off my leadership capabilities. Uh, not saying that I'm the best player or anything, but just showing that I was a leader on the field. Now, one of the things that they talked about last night after they drafted you was the <laughs> mental acumen which, with which you play the game. They said you would often change positions within a, the, the context of a play. Where yes, you know, maybe you'd start out at strong safety and, and, and you'd have to switch to free or, or, or whatever, drop down into the box. Where do you get that from? Is that just being a student of the game? Uh, yes, sir. And also our defense was very complex. So with Coach Foster, we had to do a whole lot of different things. Sometimes I'm in the box. Sometimes I'm one-on-one -on -one with the slot with no help over top. Sometimes I'm just playing deep. And um, I was also like the utility player. So if a corner went down, he'll bring in another safety, and then I'll go to corner. So I did that some in the Clemson game. And then in the West Virginia game, I played both safety positions equally. So. I was going back and forth. You just have to make the calls from the rover position, our strong safety position then. So it's just going back and forth, just knowing what everybody's doing and then just being familiar with the game. Do you have a preference? I mean, would you prefer to play? Just, hey, put me in one position. Let, give me one spot, and I'll be a star there. Honestly, it's wherever the team needs me. That's, that's my same mentality I had at Virginia Tech, wherever you needed me to go. Um, I wasn't, I wasn't going to be upset about it. I was just going to go out there and give you 100%. So I was going to give you everything I had every play. So that's all you can ask for. Now, you also dropped out and played some linebacker too, right? Yes, sir. It was like a, a, a nickel linebacker, you could say. I came in in the box just setting the edge and filling that B gap. So just that was another thing that I had to do for our defense. How tough was that last year doing those kind of things with the shoulder injury? Um, I, I never went into the game thinking about my shoulder because if I was thinking about my shoulder, I would have just – I would have probably missed a whole lot more tackles just from trying to uh, alter my tackling skills. But um, I never really thought about my shoulder when I was playing. Of course, I knew I had the brace on because it was uncomfortable. But at the <laughs> same time, I never went into a game like, I'm, oh, I got a bad shoulder. I can't, I can't hit anymore. 
Did you feel like that, that held you back at all last year? Were you not able to, to play up to your full potential last year because of that? Uh, like again, like I just now stated, um, I never really put that excuse on my on – my, I never labeled myself with that excuse of my shoulder. So if I would have made that excuse, I would have never played in the beginning of the season. I didn't want to go into the season like, oh, I got a bad shoulder. It might be a bad year. So I just went out there, gave everything. I got every play in. Last season was a pretty good season to me. We're talking with Terrell Edmonds here on Steelers Nation Radio. I'm Dale Lally, and uh, Terrell, uh, the overall level of excitement just for your family. And this whole process had, had to have been a lot of fun. Yes, I sir. mean, you, you've been through it with your older brother already, um, but and, and your, of course your father knows the process as well, but it, it, I'm sure it was new for you and your brother, even though you had family members go through it before. What was it like to go, be able to go through this with your brother? It was big, um, being able to work out with them for the combine, work out with them before pro day, and then just going on the visits and having a possibility that we might land on the same team. That's amazing. It's a big blessing for my for my family as well. Just um, having two brothers going in the first round, that's, that's amazing. Um, I can't say too much on that because I'm still excited about it. It's still so <laughs> unreal. Like my brother went, and then I went after him. So that was that's crazy. Your parents are going to log some serious uh, air miles this year, aren't they? I know, I know. <laughs> We're going to help them out the best way we can. Just get everything logged in for them, and they're going to try to make it because they're going to have to go with my older brother with the Saints, and then my younger brother with the Bills. And now I'm here, so they're going to go all over the place. That's pretty spread out, but at least you and, and Tremaine are, are. I mean, Buffalo is only three hours from here. Yeah. If you guys want to meet up, it won't be that. They want to be that bad. And, and I get to play against Trey. Closer to Christmas, we play against the Saints. So I'm ready for that. And hopefully we we line up against each other so we can see a little competition, brotherly competition, and then can talk about it on uh, after the season or something, just joke over them. Now, you, you talked last night about uh, playing some pick-up pick games as, as kids. And, yes, and, uh, how tough were those? How, I mean, you, you, you're taking three guys who are, who are NFL players and you're putting them in a little pickup game. That had to be pretty uh, hard-hitting. Definitely hard hitting is uh, I believe that's what made me into the type of player that I am today because you're out there with no pads on and you're tackling to the ground. You have two or three people tackling you and you're only the ball carrier. So uh, <laughs> we call it pick up and dive, but um, it's a never ending game. You're just running back and forth, just tackling each other. But it definitely made you into a, a, a either a hard nosed football player or it made you into somebody that don't want to play football. Now, when you guys made your college choice, did, was that a, a something that you said, hey, we all want to play at the same school, or was that, the, that just the way it came out? Honestly, that's just the way it came out. My older brother, he was there first, and then I just went up there. I got acclimated with the school, with the coaches. Everything just felt right at Virginia Tech. The, um, the school was a good school. The coaches were great. It was, uh, the football atmosphere is amazing, so that was just great, and it was the best place for me. And then Tremaine just followed you there? He just followed me there. That just, was his decision. So just like with this – uh, decision to come out. It was like I made my decision first and then Tremaine just decided he wanted to come out too even though he already had the hype of his name of everything but it was just we made our own uh, solo decisions. Now he was the youngest player in this draft, 19 years old. That That's a tough decision to make at 19. I know. That is a tough decision but um, Tremaine, he's very, very mature so he made he made a good decision and he's going he's gonna to excel. Now you're going to be over uh, Saturday over at the uh, at Heinz Field. You'll get to go back there again. You, you said you'd already played there once. I imagine you, you'll you'll be getting a little more cheers this time around than you got the last time. Yes, sir. I'm <laughs> ready for it. Uh, the fans are, are are amazing. The fans are amazing. The fan base is crazy. I'm just seeing all the love that they gave me on social media sites um, when I was at the hotel back in Dallas, and now when I flew here. Everything was amazing, so I just can't wait to see everyone's faces, all the smiles, all the hugs, all the laugh. So I'm just I'm ready for it. And that'll be over at the Fan Blitz on Saturday over at Heinz Field. Get over there and check that out if you if you have a chance. I'm sure the uh, the Steelers will have a lot of special things uh, going on over there. Jermaine Edmonds, we uh, we we thank you for coming on with us. Uh, appreciate your time and enjoy your time here in Pittsburgh. Uh, you, you probably need a nap too. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dale Lally. You've been listening to Steelers Nation Radio.